Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to Sunya IS guys. I hope you all are doing really great and I know that you are enjoying this series on world geography which we have started guys. Those students who are new over here, I would like you to tell that we have already covered North America, South America continent and the most challenging continent that is Africa guys. These three continents are done. Now, those students who have seen my Africa video, they must be comfortable with everything now. Now, these all other continents are cakewalk for you. And I have made this in a way that it will appear cakewalk to you guys. So, we will, from this particular video, we are, we are going to start a Europe continent. And again, this will be a three-part video because you know that how we are proceeding with the continents. I don't want you to just mark down the countries, just mark down the rivers, physical features, right? I want you to absorb the information too. This difference you must be understanding and appreciating too, guys, right? So, for example, now we are going to start Europe. You must be understanding that how we are proceeding with it that it will be a part one video in part one we are basically focusing upon the political aspect political aspect doesn't mean that what politics is going on in their country no we are trying to understand the political boundaries basically which country is surrounding what country exact location you can say by exact location means what that if i say now burkina faso can you tell me the surrounding countries near burkina faso at least you will be in a position to tell me three four countries you will be in a position to tell me that either it is uh, is, is it a landlocked or basically a coastal state or coastal country and if it is coastal then what country what ocean it is basically uh touching through indian ocean or oh, sorry indian ocean atlantic ocean mediterranean sea pacific ocean you must be understanding that too guys so this is a very important political feature. In the second part, we are basically studying what? Again, the political feature only, but the places which have been in news. In the recent news, in four or five years, what political activities happened, which basically globe, from global perspective, not from local perspective, right? Also, we are trying to understand the surrounding seas, if there are any islands, surrounding that country if there are any seas surrounding that country so we are trying to cover that right and the third feature which we are going in part three we are basically covering the easier aspect because you know that once i say that congo is flowing through if you know the political if you are politically strong then you will be able to tell me that there's yes in the democratic republic of congo the zaire river is flowing and from where to where direction you should know either it is going in indian ocean or atlantic ocean this difference i have told you in the previous videos those who are new to this i would suggest them to see it from sequence right then a lot of things will be clear to you right guys because i am telling you everything in connection this is a series which is going on so what i have told you in north america part one might not i be repeating it in this part right so likewise we are moving forward guys part three is all about the physical features physical features in the form of mountains straits physical uh, features in the form of uh, uh, lakes your rivers important rivers <clears throat> and important like deserts and other miscellaneous features guys because i have shown you because i am how i am deciding that what to focus on what not to pyq guys and i am always showing you pyqs let us see the pyqs again guys over here <laughs> I have shown you multiple times in Africa also this question, recent question of 2022 I have shown you. Now if you will not know Cabo de Gardo in which city, in which country it is present, you will not be able to solve this. Catanolia, these two cities are present in news, right? So this will be covered in our place in is places in news. Amahara, you know now it is in Ethiopia. Ethiopia now you know that it is surrounded by Eritrea, Djibouti and this particular Somalia and this is a basically horn of Africa. From here Kenya, from here South Sudan and from here Sudan. You must be analyzing the difference. Now you are not unaware of these facts, guys. Right? Also, I have told you this upper region is Tigray region. This middle one is Amhara region over here, which is mentioned. And the downward region is Oromia region, guys. Ethiopia is very important. Oromia and Amhara, they have asked already. Tigray, they will be asking, guys. Tigray region, right? Do you remember the Tobruk region? Tobruk was in news. Do you remember Anglophone region? Now, those who don't know, see my Africa videos because these cities have been in news and questions are coming like that. Tobruk directly a country you have mentioned and they will be asking you to find it and see the this particular options, guys. Very difficult to solve. If you will know it, you know it. Then only you will be able to mark it, right? I hope you are understanding the difference, guys. See this Levant. That means 
these different different names for example do you know what are baltic countries balkan countries do you know what is uh, nordic countries scandinavian countries today we are going to study understand it in europe guys likewise levant likewise do you remember sahel region selvas region like these these points are very important see the nature of the question they are asking you they will not ask you country and their capital ye to bahut choti cheez hai they are understanding that this much you know after that what you know i'll ask uh, we will ask it right this is how they are asking see the rivers physical features that thames volga Zam mekong zambezi so over here thames you can see irish is that means sea information should be there again which countries are surrounding what so that means you should be politically sound in order to solve all this question adriatic sea albania kaha par padta abhi hawa nahi hogi but burkina faso agar main ghana bolu if i say togo benign if i say code de ivory if i say liberia if i say sierra leone exactly you must be understanding where it is and i am saying it fast because you have already seen my africa video that's why i am saying this country fast at least you will be in a position to tell me liberia in west africa east africa north africa south africa understanding guys now those people ek aur jo farak hota one difference among the students is those students who have already uh, tried to understood this particular world geography on their own before like seeing my lectures they must be realizing that how easy it has become right jo directly is video mein for the first time starting world geography uski itni importance nahi jaan payega but i'm telling you ask those students jinhone khud se karne ki koshish kari thi and then they came across this video guys you must be like i know that they must be appreciating this this from their heart right so understand the difference kya hota kya when we appreciate something we try to grab them as it is so our retention power it increases that's why i am saying that you have to increase your retention power guys and that will increase when you will appreciate when you will feel that something important is going on all right i hope you are giving attention to it then next question you see see again region catalonia crimea where is crimea catalonia midenau oromia see this oromia region now you are familiar with the oromia region nigeria you know that where exactly is nigeria now guys nigeria is present over here and oromia is present over in ethiopia so you have a idea not only idea those students who have focused 100% concentration with concentration they must be giving as it is answer that where these things are present guys right <laughs> again that again you are seeing the importance of these seas guys right let us start and see the different countries first of all in europe guys in africa continents we have covered all the countries so europe is not that difficult see over here which of the parts are completed so first of all draw equator can you draw equator guys you know that equator is passing like this can you do cancer okay cancer is going like this and you know the countries which all countries it is passing through not exactly i am able to make but you know which all countries it is passing through and this is your capricorn 23 and a half degree 23 and a half degree zero degree 23 and a half degree south north and this you know that we have divided this by prime meridian also this prime meridian is going this this is this like this it is going and i have told you in africa which all countries it has been passing through guys i hope you remember all this if not see the previous video this is 0 degree now from here it will be east from here it will be west 0 degree downward south 0 degree upward north so this much i hope you know basic if you have seen my video from starting these are basic things which we have already covered now you know that okay i have to be chalo isko bane rehne do aise 0 degree don't see the nitty pickies that i have not made it over here this country should come here i am making it roughly right just to make you understand so over here i have told you that south south america extension was in latitude terms you know that it was 12 degree you know that it was 57 degree something something i am saying not exactly right so again 0 degree upwards south in the last class africa i have told you that it was around something somewhere 35 degree north and it was somewhere around 37 degree north so lowest area which you will find in southern hemisphere is of south america guys right also i have told you that this particular area of north america is from 7 degree north or 8 degree north to over here you will find some 83 degree north so you are understanding this north america is completely in the northern regions right over here you are understanding this europe is also present in the northern hemisphere if you delete everything over here you will see that above equator your 
or above capricorn also you will our ca cancer sorry guys this is your cancer passing through so above cancer you will see this particular europe also so about 23 and a half degree automatically you will say that it will be around somewhere around 35 degree to 37 degree north automatically i am saying not exact information you need but i will be telling you the exact thing also that it is europe expansion in latitude terms is from 35 degree to 72 degree right in the eastern in this particular uh fringes this is not the right map over here i'll show you don't worry see this particular video guys so this is the part of africa wait guys see this particular video so this is the part of uh europe guys over here i'll be telling you all the boundaries and all just understand that this is zero degree passing over here can you see this line zero degree prime meridian is passing from here so the expansion from here to here you can see it is somewhere around 65 degree east guys 65 degree east so it the point the farther the easternmost point is 65 degree east and the where the westernmost point is 25 degree west guys over here 25 degree west so you can write easily you can write that 25 degree west to over here you will find 65 degree east guys right just wait see this particular area so like this you have to understand that this europe it is not represented in the right way over here europe but i'll be telling you which i've shown you in the other map also guys see this particular map i'll be telling you why russia is not entirely present in asia see russia is a transcontinental country i'll be telling you all about it but you try to understand right so let us see from where europe is separating from asia europe is separating from africa right so you already know see in this map you know that okay uh, now you know this north atlantic ocean south atlantic ocean this is whole south and north and south pacific ocean pacific atlantic africa you learned about that strait of gibraltar this is whole mediterranean sea this is suez canal linked by four lakes do you remember one is al jazeera al uh, al something like that second one is timsha third one is great bitter and little bitter first wale ka kya tha exactly can you tell me al manzila guys manzila right not al jizya al jizya is somewhere else al jizya is the hottest place we have studied in africa continent do you remember also over here then we have studied this particular sinai peninsula this this is a red sea then this is over here babal mandeep strait and then over here this is gulf of Aden. this whole indian ocean we have reached this is your mozambique channel and over here this again you will come to southern atlantic ocean guys so likewise let us understand that how europe is separating from asia this you must be knowing so you will be understanding that over here you will find one mountain change chain mountain chain which we have considered that from here westward side is zero and from here eastward side is a part of asia so you will be seeing it then over here you will be finding the finding this caspian sea guys caspian sea now is it a sea or a lake this this part which you are seeing now it is a lake guys i'll be showing you in the proper map also but you trying to understand what i'm saying that how borders are there so over here this is a lake because it is surrounded by a whole water body sea as a purane geographers ne bhool diya isko see but it is actually a lake then over here you will find what mountains one mountain range and that is caucasus mountain ranges or it is being pronunciated as Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains. See your atlas also. I'll be showing you also Caucasus Mountains. This is your, uh, sorry, Ural Mountains. This is your Caspian Sea. You will be saying that why we are understanding these mountains. No, we are not understanding mountains right now. I am just telling you the boundary, how it is separated from Asia, guys, right? Then over here, you will see this whole Mediterranean Sea. Abhi Mediterranean Sea, humne pura khol ke padna. we have to open up this Mediterranean Sea. Small, small islands, channels, seas, Adriatic Sea, Aegean Sea, which we all have to study in the physical feature. Not important right now. And this is your Atlantic. Over here, you will see Norwegian Sea, which we'll be seeing. And this is your Arctic. Understanding, guys. Now, inside this, who, which all, all countries are present, we have to fill this particular area, guys. Right? let us see again see in this particular map i have told you that this is basically the whole russia and russia if you will see russia is this much bigger guys over here can you see this this is russia but can you say this whole russia is in europe region no 
over here you will understand that this is particularly the ural mountain formation because over here you can see caspian sea over here you will see caucasus mountains then over here you will see mediterranean sea so you will see that only a very small chunk portion of russia is in europe and the vast rest of the 75 80 percent of the russia is in asia i hope you are understanding this right that's why i'm showing you this guys see over here so this is your ural mountains present over here which is separating which is making a natural boundary then a bit of kazakhstan you will see it is not in europe guys so that's why you are saying this boundary is like this kazakhstan then you will see caspian sea then you will see these three countries over here these are also in europe but over here i have told you that these are basically over here you will find caucasus mountains caucasus spelling you just check it out if you don't understand from my handwriting just check it out right over here then you will find a black sea then over here you will find this mediterranean sea what all is present in mediterranean sea this we have to deal later on but you are understanding how we are separating from africa you know now you must be understanding these countries morocco algeria tunisia libya egypt you must have realized and this will come in west asia so this is the part of west asia guys don't worry all we will be analyzing one by one we will be analyzing don't worry now in this particular part what our task is our task is to capture this all if i tell you where is baltic countries what are balkan countries can you spot that can you tell me nordic countries can you tell me scandinavian countries can you tell me germany is surrounded by can you tell me austria is surrounded by can you tell me where is the location of slovenia croatia which you will not be able to do it right now though some students might be having some idea but i am not focusing upon idea guys you also must be understanding this that your teacher is not just vaguely giving you the idea that i can easily do this this is spain this is portugal this is france this is germany austria poland like this i can very easily mark it on over here and move on right but this is what not i want you to give guys right so try to understand that how we are approaching towards this let us start one by one how we are going to see it likewise africa we have seen if i tell you about the region of mozambique can you tell me where it is if i tell you about central african central africa basically or democratic republic of congo now you know it is not landlocked because you have remembered that the small portion is touching atlantic likewise we are going to see okay yeah, so over here you will see that northern portion like this first of all this island iceland will also be covered over here i'll be covering it then i'll be telling you about this western area in this fashion this eastern area in this fashion we are covering then this southern area will try to cover and this is central position central europe we will try to cover guys how i am how i am saying central eastern western because i have made a reference point understanding that this if this is my europe then this is the direction i am choosing ye to normal si baat hai right i hope everyone everyone is understanding this also i focus upon small small things because i want everyone to be at the same level see i have also explained you that different different knowledge level students are sitting over here seeing me so if you find this easy be patient or just skip a bit i would not suggest to skip because some things are really very important which uh, which students those who know somewhat about this world geography those also should be focusing upon those small small facts guys right now let us one by one start because now our now our mindset is prepared that where we have to focus right now so i am telling you first to focus where guys first we will focus on northern europe right northern europe means i am letting you focus over here that if i ask you about can you tell me about nordic countries nordic countries can you tell me second thing i am asking you scandinavian countries countries now aapke uh, you don't have to think like that why scandinavia is the word they have chosen why nordic they have chosen no guys what i'm trying to tell you you also know the nature of questions right do you know that regions of bundelkhand bhagelkhand of our particular india bundelkhand bhagelkhand vidisha right you know about this particular marathawada region of maharashtra vidarbha region different different regions are known by certain names right like that you have to think that in europe also there are certain uh certain names like scandinavia nordic baltic balkan like this your mind should work and automatically you should know that what all countries are there in this particular nordic countries and scandinavian countries 
अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो समेयर इफ समन विल आज वट आर नॉर्डिक एंड वट इज कैंडिनेवियन कंट्रीज यू शुड एटलीस्ट रिमेम्बर वट दे आर एक्चुअली दे आर एक्चुअली द पार्ट ऑफ यूनिफाइड जोग्राफिकल मास ओवर हेयर यू विल सी स्ट्रॉन्ग कल्चरल ties also some historical ties you will see some linguistic features similar language over here guys linguistic nature also linguistically they are tied together culturally they they are also tied together that's why we say it nordic countries and in nordic countries some countries will be present some more countries will be present in scandinavia less countries will be present understanding guys so you have to know this now scandin jab when we talk about nordic i'll be telling you those countries on the map first and scandinavian countries also the part of nordic only right so let me tell you so what you are understanding this bigger circle is nordic and in this nordic countries only you will find scandinavian countries so let us study scandinavian countries first guys so scandinavian countries focus over here are basically three this norway can you see guys norway country you can see over here from this particular part over here it is going like this and it is becoming the crown for two countries sweden and finland so when i am saying three countries it is a norway three scandinavian countries norway sweden and you will think finland will also come but not guys finland is not considered in literal sense though they have added finland somewhere in some uh, some places you will see finland is also added but i will say avoid it you only consider three countries at scandinavian countries this can you see norway sweden and this denmark over here guys this small peninsula type over here you are seeing this is denmark so i want you to focus over here these three countries right now i am going not going into the places which are in news because europe was in news because you have seen ukraine this russia war which is consistently going on and it is it is still going on has become a center of point right we will be talking about it we will be seeing all the places which are in news but not right now just familiar with the base first which all countries are present where which are landlocked or not right so this is scandinavian countries we are talking about norway sweden and denmark over here now what happens in nordic countries then what are nordic countries in nordic countries we not only include this scandinavian countries that is norway sweden and denmark but we also include this finland guys over here this finland is also being included this faroe island which is basically controlled by denmark only is also included this iceland is also included guys so which three countries are added over here basically not three but three places iceland faroe island and finland guys over here are also included in nordic countries faroe island is a part of denmark also greenland which i have told you it is geographically the part of uh, north america but it is basically politically controlled by denmark so basically it also becomes the part of this particular Uh, nordic countries right but you will say that iceland these countries should be fixed for example now you should know that scandinavia scandinavian countries if someone will ask you now this is written different different in other like in a, in any big book you pick these three countries will be written and some more countries will be written but i would say just stick with what i am saying guys it will not the yeah, you will not be in a confusion later on in you will retrieve this information at its as it is scandinavian means norway your sweden your not finland but your denmark guys so what if these are scandinavian countries if i include one more country that is finland if i include faroe island faroe island and if i include one more country that is your uh, iceland then this will become my nordic countries just like this you try to understand not more than you don't have to know the cultural history political history of these countries right just know their capital for now you will see that norway's capital is oslo oslo i'll be telling you where it is situated basically oslo sweden capital is stockholm very important and you know that these are the countries which remains uh, on the top number in most of the indicators of the world's indicator development indicators right and in finland you will see helsinki helsinki let me show you in other another map guys see this particular map can you see this oslo over here can you see stockholm over here 
Stockholm, Oslo in the same level. Helsinki above Stockholm and Oslo. Can you see? This Helsinki is a port city, guys. The Gulf of Bothnia, Baltic Sea, all you will be remembering in the second lecture. Not, Don't see it. Just see that Norway is trying to be a crown of for Sweden and Finland. Basically, these are Nordic countries. But Norway and Sweden and Denmark is your Scandinavian countries. Denmark capital is Copenhagen. Or Copenhagen, it is written over here, but it is also written as Copenhagen. You also must be doing this is written as somewhere Copenhagen. Right. So don't worry about it. The spelling, they will not give you four options like Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Like this question is not going to come. So you just understand from the understanding point of view, guys. Right. So this, you know, Denmark is Copenhagen. Faroe Island, Iceland capital is Reykjavik or the speak the way you want but i'm really sorry if i'm pronunciating it wrong but reykjavik right reykjavik oslo stockholm helsinki what is the northernmost capital of the world northernmost capital this reykjavik guys is the northernmost capital of the world right so this you have seen four countries as usual how we do it we try to fill it in the blank map guys you also i have i have also told you to keep with yourself atlas and practice map plain maps guys so that pause the video and try to write it down on your own in the class itself over here you come guys over here. so you will see this particular thing over here norway so norway capital oslo over here sweden capital stockholm over here this is helsinki and this is finland and you can see the crown of norway over here on these two buttons guys then this is russia starting from here we will see it later on don't worry about it this is your iceland and the northernmost capital is reykjavik reykjavik spelling you just check it from your book atlas and i have told you that don't miss this denmark guys denmark and this small island over here faro island faro island is this done guys this part over here is done this iceland is done over here i have told you that i am not opening these up right now these seas we have to learn everything these straight over here but time will come be patient right difference between scandinavia and nordic you have understood at least i should know nordic countries are bigger circle that means three more things are adding iceland this basically your uh, finland also and your faroe island also if they will give you denmark Oh, sorry if they will give you that particular uh, uh, greenland over here then this that will be also included because greenland is being controlled by denmark only understanding guys and this is your russia touching after that guys russia this we will be understanding later on russia you know that this is the part of our uh, basically europe only and very small portion is being added in the europe russia whereas the asian russia is having the vast area guys right now let us focus upon this particular area this one two three four five countries guys you have five countries you have to see which are basically like this these five countries you have to learn we will be focusing upon here first of all forget everything right now forget these uk britain and all this you have seen we have killed this now we are, will kill this particular area broad thing you know that this is black sea If not, we will be focusing upon seas in the next class. This you know that this is Caspian Sea. This you know Caucasus Mountain. This you know Ural Mountains over here. So let us focus upon over here guys. See over here that first country is basically Estonia. Is it landlocked? No Estonia. Latvia E L L. Don't remember like this but Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. And all these are landlocked or not? No, but they are touching this Baltic Sea. Don't remember this Baltic Sea right now, but you try to understand that this is having touch with the sea guys, right? We will be understanding these names, rectifying these names in the next class. But you understand they are having coastal areas. Okay, over here then you will see when a landlocked country for the first time in Europe, right now we are under understanding that this Belarus over here is, you have caught guys, Belarus. This is landlocked till now which in, in the countries which we have seen and the most disputed or the most uh, the most country which has been in news in 2020, 2022, 2023 will be in news, 2021 it was in news. This is your Ukraine guys. This you will be understanding. 
though this is Crimea island which is in uh, like uh, again disputed land which we are going to see don't worry about it but Ukraine and in the next class I'll be telling you about several region of Donbass really Luhansk region where are those regions I'll be telling you in the next class I don't want you to overload with information which I can do but I don't want to do because I know that you are going to forget it eventually I know that how you are going to retain the information guys so trust me don't worry about it till now you have completed North America South America Africa you will be getting over with this too so these five countries we have to focus can you see what is this then why i'm leaving you leaving this particular part actually this part is with russia only guys this is the part of russia only right that's why we cannot consider this as a separate country so this is a part of russia which you will forget right now one two three four five countries which you have to remember also try to see their capital also i'll tell you over here can you see over here capital estonia capital is Tallinn. Why I am telling you capitals also because in the form of capital too they can tell you to arrange from north to south, south to north like this they can give you also guys. UPSC less capital type of question are coming but in state PCS, in CDS, in CAPF this is their favorite question because they don't ask you much more about the current affairs. Right so you over here tell in Riga. See Estonia tell in Latvia is Riga, Lithuania Vilnius. Belarus, Minsk and Ukraine, Kyiv. Ukraine, Kyiv you will be remembering because it has been in news and these regions I'll be telling you in the next class when we will open up places in news. Belarus is a Minsk, very important city guys, Minsk. Lithuania, Vilnius, so Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. Belarus and Ukraine we have seen till now. Over here Tallinn, Riga, Vilnius, Minsk, Kyiv. Draw it over here guys. Can you tell me this particular part? You know, if I ask you about, just write the country's name first, Estonia, then Latvia guys, these are two L over here and this is your Lithuania, LA will come first, LI will come later on. So if you will confuse between Latvia and Lithuania, think like that, Lithuania, understanding and Lithuania is not touching with Russia guys, you try to understand. Estonia is touching, Latvia is touching, but Lithuania is not touching with Russia. Or is it touching? Is it is also touching because over here you are seeing this Russia, Russia's part, guys, right? So this Russia, it is touching with also. But you will see that these are not landlocked. Only landlocked country over here you will see in the form of Belarus. Belarus, guys. Or Belarus, say it the way you want, right? Over here the most disputed and the most important place which has been in news is a ukraine guys and over here it is bordering with russia and how russia expansion or occupation you are seeing in this particular region uh, in the news also throughout this year throughout the previous year you are seeing this so this you have seen and this is a black sea so you are seeing that ukraine touch is with black sea you are seeing belarus is a landlocked country so a landlocked ki list mein tha aap se. I was saying that make this list of landlocked countries of different different continents. Africa continents, do you remember Chad, Mali, Mauritiana? Do you remember Central African Republic? Do you remember that Burkina Faso? Do you remember uh, you, uh, that particular Bru, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda? Do you remember uh, this particular area of Zambia, Zimbabwe and Botswana? Likewise, you have to remember Ethiopia is also there. 14 countries which we have seen. Similarly, you will be making the landlocked countries of Europe. It will be very handy and very useful in the D-Day, guys. When you you will be revising it na? very easy. So over here, you have seen this particular part. Can you tell me the capitals, guys? Tell in. Can you tell me Riga? Can you tell me of Vilnius? This means एक दो बार करना पड़ेगा आपको खुद से and Ukraine Ukraine sorry Ukraine is Kyiv and Kyiv you should know because it is in news so this area was Norway Sweden Finland Denmark is done Faroe Island and Iceland is done you must be like fully aware with these countries now now the places which have been in news are from Ukraine. Somewhere you will see this dispute between this particular Estonia and Latvia. Dispute of Lithuania. Basically this is Lithuania. 
so you are going to see it in the next class don't worry about it i'll be telling all of it because i'm not skipping everything that's why with i am giving i am taking your time the much required time guys not in shortcuts i'm telling you right now you have seen this portion now i want you to leave this particular part for now just see this particular west area now west europe side very important guys over here can you see this this part you have seen this country of africa is morocco this country of uh, this particular europe is spain so i have told you between spain and morocco you will see strait of gibraltar and gibraltar is the place present in spain a little bit over here i have shown you but basically gibraltar is politically controlled by uk that is united kingdom and it is present over here uk territory you have seen in indian ocean indian ocean also chagos archipelago and you have seen the conflict with Seychelles. i hope you remember this particular part so right now you try to see these three countries over here that is this one which is basically the easternmost you can see this is spain and this is your very important world in world history you have seen of france right it was all about world history was all about france germany united kingdoms britain basically and usa right over here france napoleon bonaparte you remember from france what we have taken what we have taken the feature of uh in polity equality liberty and fraternity we have taken it from french revolution so over here you understand about french revolution right so remember this france now people who are like who have done this world geography on their own earlier also they must be connecting it very quickly those who are new to this preparation uh, will be feeling a bit tough to connect with all this but i am just interconnecting all the things which you are studying right so this country is over here you will find the famous football club over here portugal guys then over here you will find this country over here that is spain these are also by football dominated countries right but some places are in news politically our focus area should be like that over here this is our france these three countries you have to focus right now let me show you in the map can you see this particular area guys this is portugal this is spain and spain is the part which is basically you can see it is with morocco of this particular region right and over here straight of gibraltar you will see and this is your france guys this bay of visca forget it right now but you see a different a bay is over here those who don't know the difference between bay gulf and bites see my previous videos guys i have told you very clearly about the difference between bay gulf and bite right so over here you will see one bay so this much part you have tried to understood what is the capital of portugal portugal what is the capital of portugal <clears throat> let me show you in the this particular map guys again portugal capital capital you will see lisbon very famous most of you must be knowing you if you don't know then this is a very famous capital guys spain madrid but they are not asking Madrid, they are asking Catalonia. Where is Catalonia? In Spain only. But we are going to see in the next video. Right now, I am not focusing upon the places which have been in news. Right? Then this is France and France, very famous Paris, symbol of love. Right? Paris over here, you will see. These three countries, you try to understand first. Let us mark on the map, guys. Okay, over here, you see. So this is your Portugal. This is your Spain this is your france this ukraine this over here belarus lithuania not touching with the eastern russia this is your latvia this is your estonia finland Den uh, finland and this is your uh, sweden this is your norway iceland Faroe island denmark now I want you to focus upon one phenomena guys. You have to observe it. You will remember it. We have seen these three countries here. We have seen these five countries. We have seen these three countries. We have seen these Nordic countries. Now you see four boxes. One box. Two box. This three smaller one. Which are joining together. And you are, you just see over here guys. That this in the central country. So can you see this petal type formation over here? I want you to see this. Petal type formation right just observe this let us try to know that which is this country which is basically surrounded by these four countries and very important countries are these right over here you will see then i will be telling you more facts guys basically 
you are observing this central europe which i am seeing that this is central europe and over here you are seeing that these petal type formation you are seeing if we can identify this particular area can we not are we not joining with these five countries also so are we not completing a whole scene from here to here right so we are able to understand this particular forget this particular area right now this we have done denmark just try to know these four countries at least we should be knowing it and you will be understanding that hitler was from here you will be seeing these important affairs in world history when the whole politics was revolving over here guys right <clears throat> so we will be seeing it see in this particular map first over here you are seeing this petal type formation is basically czech republic initially previously this was the same country czechoslovakia right but later on this got some under feud or this got separated and this czech republic got formed over here czech republic over here guys so central petal type formation i was saying the middle one was czech republic understanding <clears throat> And then this one important petal is Germany. Very important, guys. Industrialized nation right now. And in world history, Tufan Macharaka, the Holocaust, a different level of Changis in 13th century. Changis Khan in uh, 13th century means 1211 to 1218 AD. You are seeing Changis Khan. Another ruthless ruler, another ruthless leader you will see over here is uh, this particular Hitler Holocaust in world history. You will know. And this another petal is Poland, guys. Very important. Then Czech Republic is surrounded by Slovakia and it is the connecting link with Ukraine also. Poland is also linked with Ukraine. So people are basically shifting from Poland, going to Slovakia, those who are war struck over here. Poland is accepting them, Slovakia is accepting them, Belarus is accepting them, right? In the international relations, you understand about it. So how world geography is connected with everything, world history also, international relations also, right? So over here, Slovakia. So after learning world geography, you will be easily understanding world history because you have everything on your tips, on everything on your mind. You will be easily understanding your, uh, the international relations also, guys, right? Now this Slovakia and the another fourth petal is your Austria, guys, over here, Austria. Austria, Slovakia, Poland, Germany. You try to see these four countries, first of all. This is your Germany, Poland. This is your Slovakia. And this is your Austria. Center me, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. If you cannot see it, then I am saying it. Some I am saying also something. Na Czech Republic. So try to understand, guys. Kuch kuch students hote hain ki likhna bhi saaf hai bilkul. Try to understand, right? So over here, Czech Republic. C R. So I am connected with this particular region that is your Estonia. Can you tell me this particular part? Can you tell me this particular? Pause the video if you don't remember, guys. Do this exercise. I am telling you. Follow my instruction, guys. Over here, this particular thing, can you remember it right now, this? So you can see now I am connected with the central part with Poland and Slovakia from this side. And do you remember this particular Lisbon, this particular Madrid, this particular Paris is connected with Germany from here. Right, because we don't know about this country yet. We don't know about these three countries over here yet. We don't know about this particular part over here yet. So we know that at least with Germany, I am connected from here. And out of this, can you tell me the landlocked countries, guys? Out of these four countries, one, two, three, four, can you see one, two, three, four, five, basically? Can you tell me the landlocked country? This, can you visualize this is landlocked? Can you see this Austria is also landlocked? Can you see this particular country, Slovakia is also landlocked? So add this to your list of landlocked countries. Okay, so now you try to understand their capital also. Let me show you their capital guys over here. Germany capital, very important. Berlin or it is very easy also remains in news. Berlin, Poland, very easy. Warsaw, if you are finding it new for the first time you are hearing it, then you have to make it your habit. Do tin din aap isme raat mein baitho usko leke, right? Because you kuch students ke liye, jo repeaters hai, very easy. Because they are in touch with news also. And Berlin, Germany remain on, remains in news. Poland, Warsaw remain in news. Czech Republic place Prague, very beautiful capital Prague, right? Slovakia, Bratislava, Slovakia it is. 
ऑस्ट्रिया वेना एंड यू नो वेना कन्वेंशन हैज बीन हैपन वेना कन्वेंशन इफ यू डोंट नो अबाउट दीज प्लेसेज यू शुड नो गाइज वेना कन्वेंशन यू अंडरस्टैंड इट इन योर एनवायरमेंट क्लासेज ऑल्सो वेना कन्वेंशन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रैक्टिस लेवा प्रेग बर्लिन वॉर्सो दीज फाइव कैपिटल्स यू ट्राई टू नो मीन्स कीव विलियस रेगा लेट टेलिन यू हैव सीन राइट वन मोर कंट्री नाउ वी विल मूव फॉरवर्ड गाइज एंड वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू लिंक फ्रांस कंप्लीटली विद दिस सेंट्रल पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ यूरोप सो लेट एस ट्राई टू लिंक इट गाइज बिकॉज वी नो दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट जर्मनी नाउ एम मार्किंग कैन यू टेल मी द कंट्रीज राइट डाउन द कंट्रीज गाइज विच हैव मार्क and this france now i want to link it with the central country so one link is over here in a world geography in world history when you will see world war happen you will see how they were passing from these countries right so you will be seeing also this france germany and all now we are focusing upon basically can you see this particular country small country over here four countries are there i am telling you guys this small country over here can you see these two countries then this particular country over here then this particular country over here we are going to see it So these three countries let us see in the map first guys over here three countries are can you see this particular part yellow color this is your netherland aur ye chhota sa part which i am saying na ye us wale map mein aise different country lag rahi thi but this is the same country guys theek hai yahan par three countries ka group we are understanding only this is netherlands all right over here you will see some features of netherlands i'll be telling you netherlands mein you will see some features some physical features i'll be telling you in the next class because i have told you that for example in germany born convention born places there and you know born convention related to environment right i'll be telling you in the next class right don't worry about it belgium over here with different color let me mark it belgium this particular country belgium so france is basically connected with belgium then germany one way is this and this small country over here guys very important landlocked country over here luxembourg so first country from western side you are seeing luxembourg this with blue i am marking over here luxembourg then this is france boundary then this very important country over here you are going to see guys this is your switzerland over here Switzerland and Switzerland, you have a lot of capital. Like a lot of things happen over here, guys. For example, a lot of convention happens. Basel city, Basel in economics, Basel reforms you have seen is present over here, right? Bern, Geneva is all present in Switzerland, guys. So right now, let me show you from this particular map also. See in this particular map, if you are not again, I am telling you again for you, I am telling you Portugal, Spain, France. friends directly friends directly you can go to germany and you will remember this petal and you will remember this five country formation right but there are certain countries in the north that are basically three countries luxembourg belgium and amsterdam they are not linked with switzerland over here which we have seen so this is one way of going towards this then austria then you can reach to this five countries over here so this is one thing which you are understanding like this Okay, let me show you in this clean map also, guys. So this area is your C, Portugal, Spain, France. Now you want to go to the these petal formation countries. Petal countries, you remember? Tell me about this country. Tell me about this country. Tell me about the center country. Tell me about these two countries, guys. Now one way of reaching is directly go to Germany. Second way is knowing these countries. Above country is Netherlands. This is a C touching country. over here you will see that okay it is not also landlocked this is your belgium this is your write it down in your practice map also guys this is your netherlands over here a small country luxembourg which is a landlocked country add to the landlocked list then you will find switzerland over here this is also landlocked country switzerland but very important place a lot of things happens over here right switzerland swiss bank is also known from here so over here you will see switzerland let us see the capitals before going ahead guys see over here let me just erase it can you see the netherlands capital amsterdam and over here i have told you that one peculiar feature happens physical feature we it will appear i'll tell you it in again in your uh, this particular in the next class also uh, or you studied this in the physical geography when you understand in the geomorphology section that what type of physical features forms by the erosion of uh, this river water guys so you will understanding this over here belgium capital brussels 
right brussels this is luxembourg over here you have to know and the capital is luxembourg only guys over here you will see switzerland switzerland capital is bern over here can you see bern zurich is also present over here a lot of cities i'll be telling you in the next class bern right leave italy now very important very uh, like it is being present in news also famous for it fashion capital also you will see over here italy italian uh, world history perspective you will see italian and from here a very important personality will rise you will see from world history but italy is over here surrounding this particular particular part guys italy we will be seeing it but right now this we have covered the top portion the westernmost portion the northernmost portion right this united kingdom for like we will take it uh, like uh, a separate piece right now you are left with basically the southern area and southern area will not try to cover uh, like in one go let us see how we are going to see see this particular map you have seen this particular area can you write down in the rough map again do two three type of maps you try to take right two three practice maps once you try to mark as it is when i'm saying second you try to map mark when you will be practicing it and third at the night like this you should practice it guys right so this you have seen it all over here really sorry this line we have covered now we are left with basically this part we have to complete this particular portion of europe country we will be covering it first see that okay let us complete this particular line guys after ukraine what all after ukraine what all countries are coming see in this particular map i have told you about five countries can you write estonia or remember just recall latvia lithuania uh, uh, this is belarus this is ukraine get familiarized with these countries guys belarus is different belgium is different denmark is different ukraine is different and poland is different right over here then you are seeing one landlocked countries which is not touching Black Sea, it is not touching Black Sea. Here, you will think that Black Sea is a touch, but when I zoom, I will make it a little bit wrong. But Moldova is not touching Black Sea, guys. This country is Moldova. It is not touching Black Sea. See in this particular map, guys. See here, there is so much gap. So this is one landlocked country you will be seeing not touching this Black Sea, guys. Now Black Sea is a sea. It is not a lake basically because over here you are seeing a passage straits. In the next class, I'll be telling you about straits. But Moldova is one country after Ukraine, which is landlocked, not touching Black Sea. Now in questions, how question is coming in the examination? Black Sea is surrounded by which one of not the is which one of the country is not surrounded by this Black Sea and Moldova will be present over here. So like this, you have to analyze this and these questions have been asked already. Try to analyze the PYQ. <clears throat> this particular then a major state which is touching black sea is romania very important guys romania and then there is another country from b which is bulgaria or bulgaria guys bulgaria is also touching and what is this small country over here can you see this is your moldova which is not touching black sea romania touching black sea bulgaria touching black sea can you tell me what is this part then and what is this basically this is whole turkey which is present in west asia when we will be covering asia i have told you that after this particular area you asia will be covering it and this is west asia's part so this is turkey but turkey small part portion is present in europe also just like the whole russia's portion is present in europe also this particular portion is present in europe similarly turkey is also a transcontinental country transcontinental that in two continents these countries are present one is russia one is turkey so the statement if this will come that only one country is transcontinental in the world this will be wrong guys right so over here a portion of turkey you will be seeing over here so what is this country then this is your very famous country where city states used to exist in 600 bc this is your greece from here only or from this region only you will see alexander the great or the greek empire will rise in ancient history and all right so try to understand that greece is not touching black sea because it is avoided by the small portion of turkey over here you will see bulgaria romania moldova so one two three four countries and this is covering your basically west europe this five countries covering or touching with uh, this particular west europe guys north europe understanding 
see in the map again guys if you don't want to see in this map try to see analyze in this map particularly estonia latvia lithuania you are comfortable with belarus ukraine you are very much comfortable with in the next class also when i'm i'll be opening up the places in news the cities which has been in news the important cities then also again you will be analyzing it at least you should have a base now over here moldova mol moldova basically it is written as check the spelling from the atlas also if still it is confusing then directly type on google don't waste your time by seeing searching here and there google only two seconds you will be knowing it romania bulgaria and then over here greece is not touching when turkey is touching with black sea understanding guys this is one portion you have seen this chaos you are seeing over here it is a group of eight to nine countries don't worry about it it will be remembered forever right but one country you try to see over here italy very famous country italy a different cities are rome san, san marino is a different country we will be telling you i'll be telling you small small country over here but try to understand that vatican city rome is over here naples is over here turin milan next class we will be focusing upon just italy you try to see these are italy island right over here over here two islands are of italy <laughs> one thing you must focus upon is their capital now just for understanding purpose that moldova capital is chesinau romania bucharest bulgaria sofia and greece very famous athens athens sofia bucharest chesinau try to remember it chesinau is a very different type of name moldova bucharest you must have heard about sofia is a name of a girl to bulgaria is the basically country and athens greece you must be remembering now you try to see this particular chaos over here above greece what chaos is going west side of romania bulgaria what chaos is going but before connecting this chaos with this upper areas we need one country guys over here see you have known this petal and because of this the four surrounding countries you know okay you have known this particular link between france and this switzerland you have known these three countries link you know so that's why you know these countries okay well and good this chaos you will be understanding in one go right now okay italy you have understood about the island and all i'll be telling you in the next video you have understood this but what is connecting this particular petal to this chaos is this country and what is the name of this country guys very important which is connecting it with the, this particular ukraine also mold uh, this particular uh, romania also this particular bucharest also bulgaria basically so this particular country can you tell me what is it over here this is hungary guys connecting with the chaos over here you will see chaos we will be understanding what are those eight countries basically but can you spot this hungary up below slovakia sidewise of austria and sidewise of romania understanding they will not make it difficult very difficult because it is already a difficult country over here so when they will ask you hungary is surrounded by it is a difficult type of question right so they will give you certain countries which are not only related over here they will give you some west europe countries so you will be able to easily eliminate also so this particular area you have understood Rome, uh, this uh, hungary particular part hungary and hungary capital is a budapest guys over here can you see hungary capital budapest like this over here where i am marking hungary budapest austria vienna you know slovakia bratislava czech republic prague poland poland warsaw now you see this particular chaos just understand this chaos first before going ahead can you mark this particular country from this country you should remember the petal and petals downward countries are touching this particular this particular area then the petals head and the two above countries of petal this you know now you are going to understand this chaos guys and chaos first country you will be seeing over here is basically this one part one you are seeing this country touching slowly and slowly we are moving forward this particular country you are seeing that's it seeing over here you will see this country has like a rise in football you will see of this particular country played semi final also like in the last fifa world cup then you will see over here this particular country and one more country you try to see four countries group i would like to tell you this landlocked country guys 
this country we will be trying to know because we know this particular Roma, this particular country Hungary, we know this particular country Slovakia and Austria, Czech Republic, Poland and Germany. We know this Romania, Bulgaria. So what are remaining these four countries and next four countries will be these four countries also we will try to understand. So how you try to understand this particular country guys like this you try to understand from here to here you try to go from coastal countries to the landlocked country you try to go and landlocked country is this only let us see now over here you try to see guys what is written over here slovenia slovakia and slovenia are different so don't get confused slovenia is this small area of the chaos is starting from slovenia it is basically connecting my austria italy and hungary and giving my way to the chaos which we are seeing of eight countries Slovenia, then Croatia, very important country guys over here. This is your Croatia. Over here Croatia you will see. Then third country which you will see over here Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina. So over here you have seen uh, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina that is BH and landlocked country you have reached that is serbia and this serbia is wrongly mentioned over here basically one part has been separated from serbia and it has become kosovo so you remember like that one more place will come over here let me show you in this particular map if they have shown it correctly guys yes they have shown it correctly over here can you see this particular area so this is slovenia basically croatia bosnia and herzegovina and serbia over here can you see serbia this is your Serbia guys this is landlocked country over here the rest is connecting with the Adriatic Sea don't worry don't remember Adriatic right now because I'll be telling you seas simultaneously in one go so Croatia above that Slovenia Bosnia Herzegovina Herzegovina and Serbia over here these four countries group you should know <clears throat> capitals we will see later on so Slovenia try to write now in in your uh, particular practice sheet also you try to write down and Serbia is the landlocked country let us write in the blank map guys this is your Slovenia Slovakia is over here there is no connection between Slovenia and Slovakia and this is your Croatia Croatia has played semi-final in the basically it has it has really played really well in the FIFA's guys in in the basically last to last Olympics which you have seen Croatia was playing the semi-final and over here you will see Bosnia and Herzegovina BH and this landlocked you have reached that is Serbia. These were your four countries. Now four countries group can you see one, two, three, four. These four countries group you have tried to know. Out of these four, two is basically coastal countries and two are landlocked countries. So let us understand this. This is your Montenegro guys. Montenegro. Let me show you in the map itself. Montenegro can you see Montenegro next one you will see Montenegro this is the part used to be part of Serbia only but it has been separated and made a fresh country made a new country that is Kosovo this is your Montenegro this is your this landlocked country other one is Macedonia so Macedonia is landlocked country and from here it is being said that Alexander was born in over here only and this over here this particular coastal country is Albania Albania or Bania say the way you want and under this you know Greece is covering it all see again over here Albania this particular area Macedonia and Kosovo it is not represented Kosovo is not written over here but you will find this Kosovo over here guys and Montenegro easy or not guys before going before writing it down do you remember these countries over here if I ask you if I ask you about let us see let us see do you remember or not guys can you tell me this country over here present over here and inside country Senegal and Gambia then can you tell me this particular country Guinea Bissau and Guinea can you tell me Sierra Leone and Liberia can you tell me Code the Ivory, GTB and Burkina Faso over here? Code the Ivory, Ghana, Togo, Benin. These five countries, six countries group over here. 
this ethiopia present over here south sudan central african republic then these three countries kenya tanzania and mozambique then over here south africa namibia and angola over here two countries niger and sorry nigeria and cameroon then over here small equatorial guinea bit large what was that gabon a bit large congo then drc over here like this we have studied this or not guys if you remember this well and good now this we have already covered that's why i'm doing it very fast right those who are new to it we have covered these continents and those students who are watching in sequence they must be understanding it so right now similarly we are going to cover this this is slovenia croatia bosnia herzegovina and over here serbia landlord another four countries over here is coastal again montenegro kosovo and macedonia are landlocked and this is your albania then over here greece add these countries on landlocked countries guys understanding this portion is also completed this portion whole portion is completed this portion is completed this italy is completed now certain small small cities countries i'll be telling you don't worry about it right <laughs> let us see some small countries which we have left now guys in this map only i am trying to tell you see the eight countries capital before moving ahead and just tell you the eight capitals country what you have to do it you have to understand it simultaneously guys ye countries aap alag se mention karo slovenia capital jablana this lablana or jablana lablana you can see right lablana croatia zagreb bosnia and herzegovina sarajevo serbia belgrade ye char ek sath then montenegro podgorica kosovo pristin this uh, skopje is of this uh, particular macedonia albania tirana in eight countries ko ek sath four four ke group pe you have to remember this particular capitals guys koi upay nahi hai you have to try to learn it because if you are appearing for other examination if for only upsc csc i would suggest leave this just read them and leave this but for other examination you are targeting state pieces also you are targeting learn it right now right now guys because यही अच्छा मौका है फॉर यूपीएससी सी एस सी एक्सपीरियंट ऑल्सो आई विल से जस्ट रिमेंबर इट क्योंकि कोई भरोसा नहीं है यूपीएससी नेक्स्ट टाइम इसको ऑर्डर में दे देगा और अजीब और गरीब कैपिटल्स दे देगा चार और आप उसको मैच करने बैठ जाओ सो यूपीएससी विल फॉर्म क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस एंड वंस दे विल गिव यू लाइक दिस फिर सबको कैपिटल नेक्स्ट ईयर से सबको कैपिटल रटी होंगी समझ रहे हो देन एवरी वन विल फोकस अपॉन कैपिटल्स सो राइट नाउ यू ट्राई टू बी अ कॉम्पिटेटिव स्टूडेंट गाइज चलो छोटी छोटी कंट्रीज को भी लेटस फोकस अपॉन over here in italy and the world's smallest country which you have known is basically your vatican city guys over here can you see vatican city world smallest city or world smallest country not city only vatican city this is the country present in italy landlocked not touching sea in africa south africa you remember lesotho and eswatini if you don't see the previous lecture san marino is another country Monaco is another country, guys. Over here, can you see Monaco, San Marino, Vatican City? Locate it in your map. Between Switzerland and Austria, you will find one more country over here, guys. It is not written over here. Let me tell you in another map. Okay, it is basically a small country. I will be telling you it in this over here. Can you see this particular six written over here? Switzerland and Austria. Can you spot when I'm saying Switzerland and Austria? Can you spot on the map? Italy के ऊपर देखोगे Switzerland and Austria. ये आपको ये ध्यान में आ जाना चाहिए. अब इन्हीं के बीच में एक छोटी सी country फंसी पड़ी है. और इसको क्या बोलते हैं? Doubly landlocked country. Very important. In the whole of these world world geography, you will see only two countries are doubly landlocked. Landlocked means that this country is basically not touching any sea or any water body. doubly landlocked means that means this landlocked country is surrounded by countries which are already landlocked doubly landlocked ye to landlocked hai lekin jisse surround kar rahi hai wo bhi landlocked hai they are also not touching by sea touching to uh, sea so over here you will see liechtenstein can you see over here guys see this spelling liche liche tenstein pronounce it the way you want guys but lichens light uh, lichen tenstein over here you will see and this is present over here basically and how i am saying it is doubly landlocked because you know let me show you 
okay you know because this switzerland is also landlocked this particularly austria is also landlocked and between these one country is sandwich this is Liechtenstein. so it is surrounded this landlocked country is surrounded by another two landlocked countries that's why this country is doubly landlocked countries one more fact came into picture and there are only two countries one over here you have understood and one more you will understand in asia guys that is one more country is also doubly landlocked understanding guys do you remember monaco do you remember this uh, san marino this do you remember this vatican city do you remember this small country uh, country, uh, country luxembourg these are islands in tomorrow's class i'll be telling you don't worry these are the islands of italy only these are the islands of france ठीक है एक और कंट्री जो आप छोटी सी देख रहे हो यहाँ पर फ्रांस और स्पेन के बीच में वट इज दिस वट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस कंट्री अंडोरा गाइज अंडोरा राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो वन कंट्री विच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन स्पेन एंड फ्रांस वन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज रिमेनिंग नाउ दैट इज दिस ग्रेट ब्रिटेन यूके वट इज यूनाइटेड किंगडम वट इज ग्रेट ब्रिटेन क्या है ये है क्या United Kingdom is same as Great Britain. Those who know, who know. Those who don't, right now you try to know. So over here, first of all, tell me that how many countries are over here, guys, in this particular area. You will see that is this the whole United Kingdom? No. Over here there are two countries. Basically, one is Ireland. This Ireland over here, and this you can see a small portion, which is basically a fraction of this whole Ireland only. This is Northern Ireland. understanding guys or not now northern ireland is not a separate country this ireland is a separate country but this northern ireland is a part of uk united kingdom but what is united kingdom united kingdom is uniting certain territories like scotland wales and england over here these three territories guys i'll be focusing upon in the next class i'll be opening upon i'll be opening this uk when i'll be telling you some important cities but right now this region of this particular area is known as wales this particular middle region is known as england or not england over here yeah england then over here you will find this particular as sorry guys i have like made it wrong this is upper portion is scotland this is wales and in your map also you try to see and this is your england the whole boundary and all i'll be telling you so basically this particular area is divided into three wales scotland and england and if i include so this particular island is known as great britain only but if i include this northern ireland territory to it it will become united kingdom guys understanding united kingdom means this is the part of this particular area only and ireland is separate country over here this so there are two countries you will find over here can you see see over here guys united kingdom this glasgow and all over here i'll be seeing telling united kingdom capital is london and northern ireland is also considered united kingdom london right ireland capital is dublin very famous capital dublin over here you will see oh, right over here right now don't see north sea bay of biscay english channel tomorrow's class that will be rectified to you but only focus upon this particular region iceland norway sweden finland denmark estonia latvia belarus ukraine moldova romania bulgaria greece portugal spain france petal germany poland slovakia austria czech republic switzerland connecting with austria belgium luxembourg netherlands this chaos is connecting with hungary and hungary basically giving chaos slovenia croatia bosnia herzegovina serbia montenegro kosovo macedonia albania italy this small portion turkey over here you are seeing russia which is the part of europe only. these areas but are all uh, where is moscow present in the next class we are going to see the important cities the ukraine important cities in the next class we are going to see this is now in your tips guys la final revision don't go 5 minutes wait for 5 minutes and we are going to see and you have to be one step ahead of me right try to write down any random countries which i am telling you first guys right can you tell me this country you have to be one step ahead of me i am telling you can you tell me about this country 
कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट दिस कंट्री ओवर हेयर डब्ली लैंडलॉक्ड कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट दिस कंट्री ओवर हेयर लैंडलॉक्ड ओवर हेयर दिस कंट्री ओवर हेयर दिस कंट्री ओवर हेयर दिस कंट्री कैन यू टेल मी Can you tell me about this country present over here? One step ahead of me. Pause the video and try to write it down if you can, guys. अब लेटे लेटे देखोगे तो कुछ नहीं होने वाला है. I'm telling you, this country over here. What about this? And what about this much, guys? This particular area. let me write the names guys if you can tell me successfully with capitals you are good to go in the next lecture part 2 you are ready for part 2 over here this is your minsk is the capital what is this particular area guys belarus moldova this particular center of the petal is czech republic slovakia over here slovenia not slovenia but over here you will find it sorry hungary because slovenia i have told you it is a part of chaos over here serbia part of serbia it is kosovo macedonia this is your austria liechtenstein this is your switzerland and you will see that you have covered the landlocked one over here guys rest all cities except these small small cities like luxembourg this particular andorra this particular vatican san this san marino this particular monaco these are basically small small cities guys small small countries which are landlocked but over here these are some major countries which are landlocked which you have seen i hope you remember iceland these scandinavian countries can you mark and nordic can you mark right now can you tell me the baltic countries now it will be very easy ab jo chala gaya hai video chhod ke they will not be understanding baltic because i have left it for the last versus balkan this particular area is also known as scandinavian peninsula guys this particular thing because surrounded by three seas or water body three sides is surrounded by water body peninsula i have told you what is the difference right so basically baltic countries is considered jo baltic sea se lagi hui and baltic sea aap kal padho next class that means part 2 mein you will be understanding this baltic sea so baltic sea hum ye three countries ko bolte hain baltic countries sorry in three countries when you know what are these three countries can you write it down estonia latvia lithuania can you write down the particular capitals and in cds and all they usually ask this type of question capitals right they will ask you capitals from here in cds those who are preparing for the capf cds right then balkan countries can you tell me देखो बालकन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बालकन एक पेनिनसुला है और ये पेनिनसुला की शेप में आपको ये दिख रहा होगा यहाँ पर पेनिनसुला की शेप में समझ रहे हो तो ये होता कहाँ से शुरू कहाँ से होता है ये यू विल सी दैट इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बेसिकली ओवर हेयर यू विल सी दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया यू विल सी दैट दिस एट कंट्रीज क्योस इज देयर ग्रीस इज देयर बुल्गेरिया इज देयर रोमानिया इज देयर मोल्डोवा इज देयर नो यूक्रेन no this particular hungary connection no this petal right at least you are in a position to tell me that this Bal balkan peninsula is present over here so these countries are basically Bal balkan countries balkan countries guys baltic countries you have known baltic these three countries baltic nordic scandinavian three countries nordic countries include two more one more fact you try to take guys over here you will see that okay these are the areas you have seen now can you see this eastern mediterranean sea for ye aegean adriatic you will be studying it tomorrow we will be seeing the seas straits and the important places in part 2 don't worry about it but right now can you see this these areas for example surrounding by this eastern mediterranean sea this particular area is called called as levant countries or levant region guys right very easy and they have not asked you why these are called levant why these will be called balkan why these will be called स्कैंडिनेवियन और नॉर्डिक बिकॉज बागेलखंड को आप एज इट इज बागेलखंड बोलते हो बुंदेलखंड को बुंदेलखंड मराठावाड रीजन विदर्भा रीजन 
is a, a Shaurashtra region. You know in India these places are known by that only, right? So like this you try to know. Levant region are these particular regions only. Eastern Mediterranean Sea countries surrounding by that. In the next class, we'll be developing more about these islands. What are these islands? What are these small, small seas? What is over the channel present over here? Straits present over here? Important straits we are going to see. Seas over here we are going to see. This base we are going to see. So a lot of information we are going to add in part two. So thank you so much guys for this particular part. I hope you have got the hold of it. Try to practice it at least two times. One right now by closing the laptop. One by night when you will sleep. Right. Thank you so much and be ready for the part two. We'll be adding more information. Thank you so much guys.